Ohio State 43, Maryland 30. This one was closer than I I will admit that freely. I will tell you right off the bat, I was shocked at this one. Uh, this game was 13 to 10 Maryland at the end of the first half. Looking at the final score, you would think that Ohio State like finally got things figured out. They were able to get a little bit of margin, etc. Like no, that is not the case. They they absolutely did in the third quarter, but Maryland came back and put up 17 points in the fourth quarter. Like. That's awesome. I, I was I was very impressed with what Mike Loxley was doing. Um, that final touchdown was a scoop and score for Ohio State, and that's what gave you the end margin of this game. We'll, uh, we'll toss this thing up here. Ohio State had 26 first downs to Maryland's 22. Hey, Maryland outgained Ohio State by a yard, which is kind of surprising. Uh, Maryland didn't, you know, they did they did try and rush to keep the defense honest, et cetera, 31 rushes for 84 yards. But it, Talia's numbers in this, looking at the box score, 26 out of 36, 293 yards, two touchdowns, uh, no interception. Like, he did have the fumble at the end of the game where he was in, but this was a really good effort by Maryland. I was I was a little bit shocked. Um, Maryland had the ball at their own 42-yard line with six minutes and 20 seconds left. They were only down by three, and they went three and out. That was their missed opportunity, right? It was 33-30. to 30. They had a shot right there. Uh, the Ohio State defense showed up when they had to, and it, that's kind of, you know, they didn't do the exact same things that they did against Penn State, but this was, you know, this was the spot where the defense had to show up again, and they did it. Again, this was uh, this was a good game. Maryland is uh, is six and five, um, and this is a good team. Man, their defense has been a lot better than I think any of us would have anticipated. They are they are really good, really really good. All right, the next one on the docket game from last night finished uh, kind of late, not as late as Oregon and uh, in Utah, but regardless. Uh, oh, it's zone six jumps in. Uh, Talia is a baller, and if uh, if he's on, he plays games like this. Yeah, that's kind of the same thing as Spencer Rattler, right? Like where when he's on, you are in trouble, trouble. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.